My mom's going, hey, why don't you have a kid already? Two. I can give her a billion reasons. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> James for Days podcast number nine, is that right? Yeah. Number nine. Are we finally on number nine? We are in a new studio, for those of you that are actually watching and um, can see this. is few road bumps. We kind of borrowed this studio, <laughs> and I can actually see you, the camera, so. It's I'm weird, sorry. though. We're looking at nobody. <laughs> I know. I'm so just like. We need to put a. Like a something over there to just look at. Okay. I've got some. I've got some uh, NASCAR cutouts of people yeah. from, from promos we've done with them there that will go. stand over there. That's actually what I do with new trainees in radio. Is I'll stand a. Well, I have a. I had last guy. I had to use rubber chicken because I couldn't find my cutouts. But I'll stand that across rubber the room just and fine. have them talk because the rule of radio is you don't want to be like y'all and which sometimes we do. But you so, want to Mr. Like rubber one chicken. One. So how? The other day I went to Chick. Uh, ooh, never mind. Just got back from lunch, so my chick food at Taco Bell, which obviously doesn't serve chicken. Is this going over your head? Yes. He's a chicken, so we wouldn't say that we were eating chicken. Oh, okay. It could have been his cousin. I gotcha. So plucks a lot. We started this uh, new tra- tradition last podcast, and this podcast we're going to start it right. We're going to draw one name. Last time we both did. We're going to draw one name to see who has stipulations this time. And the name is... Justin! Are you serious? Yeah, look at it. <laughs> Except half the word's not there. Yeah, only... I just see just. I demand a redraw. There's only us on the air, so that means all of us. Not really. Great. So now we have stipulations. We actually got some from uh, some of the listeners. So this is Draw your own stipulation. Oh, man. Okay, we're not going to do this because I got it again. Don't say I. <laughs> we did this last time. So I was the put boat, it in. And is I was... the, it, does everyone okay drawing again? Yeah, yeah. go up some I put it in because I was like, what are the odds that Justin will draw that again? Because we want to make it interesting for you, the listener slash viewer. We'll leave that one. Until next show. Don't touch your mic. That's going to be harder for you than anybody. Yeah. Okay, so don't touch my mic and I get three strikes over there. Unless I strike out, then that pretty much goes the entire podcast. Right? Yeah. And uh, also, once I do... Then if we draw I, then another. Someone man. else will draw again. Yep. So your name's one? not back in the cup. Okay. Which one was the? Oh, the... that's your stipulation. Okay. So <laughs> um, we have to get some extension cords this time. Uh, next time, excuse me for for this. But okay. So this time we were going to do like a like get to know each other slash us to y'all. And Jesse has a bunch of questions that I guess we could draw and discuss. Right. This is a yeah. squeaky chair. It is. <laughs> All right. Well, we decided to give Joey the nice chair because he's the tallest, and he said he hadn't really found many chairs to go that far up his the back. The cord's so short, I can't sit back in it without tearing everything else up. You so just don't get to relax. Oh. Right, you want to so. draw since you're the guinea pig? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Easy question. What is your favorite food? Favorite food. Breadsticks and stew, not together. Just Some sort of chicken. Chicken, chicken is my favorite something. food. Hmm. Mine is steak. That's a good one. Nothing makes me happier than steak. I don't. Nothing? I get tired of steak if I eat I it so. multiple times. <laughs> I mean, I'm Never. sure there are some things that might make me happier than steak, but I don't. Not there aren't many. I mean, like I can't explain how happy I get when I'm at the restaurant. You know, how dogs get when their masters yeah. come around the corner and the tail gets the wagon. Like I get to shake him. <laughs> When my steak comes around the corner, I'm just like, ooh, that's mine. That's mine. <laughs> and then you the attack table the and, server. Yeah, I'm a fat kid on the inside. Yeah, I'm a <laughs> fat kid, apparently. <laughs> yeah, before the podcast, Jesse told Joey, there was this guy I saw, and he was like Joey's size, but... Uh, but not, uh, not as fat as you. That's not what I said. <laughs> Joey, you're not as fat as him. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> man. Bigger. Before we draw again, and just to stay current, let's see. Let, there's two things trending I wanted to ask you guys if you had uh, any experience with one the text message which you don't y'all don't have iphones so never mind no there's a text message going around that you can send and it if you open it when you open it it restarts your iphone what yeah it completely restarts your iphone my brother yeah my brother's tried probably like 15 times a day it has not been able to get me my phone will not do it but apparently (laughs) he said it shuts everybody else's off so what is the other one uh, and the other one is uh, Charlie Charlie or Hey Charlie Hey Charlie. Uh, no, have that's y'all seen dumb. that? I haven't yeah. seen it, but I don't want to talk about it. Well, then how, if you haven't seen I've it, how do you know it. you don't want to talk about it? Because we were talking about it at, um, earlier before I came here. That's, that's we're having a paranormal podcast. I don't think we're doing it next. We're going to do it on the 10th, but I don't think we've prepped to do it on the, on the 10th. So maybe we'll do it like 
Which we might. Yeah. We might do it next week. I don't know. It depends on how the week goes. But it would be more for that one. But well, I it's think it's nowadays, just gravity. Nowadays, it's the new light as a feather, stiff as a board thing. Yeah, yeah and that's all it is. It's just gravity. But the video, the reactions to it are hilarious. They're like, and if you watch the reaction videos. Most of them seem so fake. Oh, I'm sure. You know, well, half of them are, are so zoomed in that it's probably somebody, yeah, somebody going. going. Yeah, somebody blowing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perv. All right, Joey. What about you? Get Joey? to draw the next okay. one. This is so weird because I'm not like, used to actually like looking at at everyone. I haven't touched my mic. Have I? I know, no, I haven't noticed. I've been watching. Oh, okay. all right. Trying, You're trying really to... close to it. This one's a lot more in That's depth. That's true. I can't touch it at all, so I can't like life goals. Okay, okay. Um, Jesse, I'll start. <laughs> my life goal is to have a job where I can wear whatever I want. That's your life goal. And. And maybe you could probably be a stripper, but I don't want to wear stripper clothes. But you can wear whatever you wanted, right? As long as it. I don't want to wear stripper clothes, though. Hey, if you were a stripper, they'd probably make this podcast do a lot better. Like, you don't even have to strip on the podcast. Just if people go to a bar and they're like, you know, oh, that girl's hot, and they could be like, actually, listen to her on Jay's for Days on YouTube. Or she could just get a Jay's for Days. I mean, that kind of does happen. I just. Our, my tramp stop. My your tramp stop. My tramp stamp section of my body is already taken, so I can always change them. Um, yeah, no. You got to put the business first. That's, up, that's up to one of y'all. Y'all can get a Jay's for Days tramp stamp. Five. I'm down. If we can get up, no, I'm not. I was gonna say if we can get up to a thousand subscribers, I'd get a Jay's for Days tramp uh, stamp. Y'all, but I'm not. everybody needs to hold hold this. No, I'm not. Hold I, I already this. back out of that. I'm not doing no, that. You, what would be great, though, is if I had it, I would just purposely go tie my shoe in front of people and just bend at the waist and it'd free be promotion. eye level. They're like, oh, ass crap. Hey, what's that tattoo say? <laughs> oh, it's funny that you ask. Squeaky Jay's chair. All right, Joey, what are your life goals? Well, oddly enough, I want to get a tramp. St- no. Um, <laughs> well. Uh, life goals, I, I'm i married. I want to have a family. Uh I'm in a set steady job that's very good for providing for said future family. So I think I'm. I think that's pretty much it. I don't know. No, I, I, you've already gotten there. So I'm, I'm where I want to be. I just have a few more steps to take and stay the course, pretty much. And then, you know, whatever spawns off the sides of that, whatever else you can do. I'm glad you've got life figured out. I don't. I, I still don't. I'm I, far from it. No. I don't have it figured out. I'm just. Taking what it gives me right well, now. We're just glad that you know what you want. Being happy. Basically, we, we're we're happy that you know for you that you know what you want. I don't know what I want. I would like to end up married. I would like to have kids. Um, I just not really, for another thirty years or so. Right. Exactly. What? So go ahead and just get some frozen and use it later. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I don't think it would be too terribly far because I don't want to be so old when I have kids. But I still want to travel the world. Um, I would like to. I work in radio, so I work my dream job. <laughs> Other than being a stripper. Um, yeah, who wouldn't want to? <laughs> um, uh, other than you know, Jesse, apparently. I think music would be the only thing I'd want to do more than radio. But I don't know. My life goals would be to get paid a lot more to do radio. Oh, or these always. podcasts. Yeah. That's why we need the right. subscribers. There you go. If I but could yeah, do I'd, this and like a movie spinoff alongside it, I'd be Quite happy. simply put, I, I, it's like what do I, my life goals are to be happy. I know what it would take for it. me to be happy. What? Not to have to wear a uniform to work. You really her don't whole like, you really life don't like goal. wearing uniform to work. No, you? her whole life goal is centered why. around what she wears at work. And because I have to have like the, I have my play clothes that have they're covered in paint because I paint, and then I have to have separate clothes that are for like when I need to go out in public <laughs> for work and for funerals. And She'd stuff. rather just go out in town with paint, paint covered there. clothing. If I was an artist, then that would be... Well, I am an artist, but if I was a successful artist, then that would be acceptable. We're totally neglecting the camera. We are, but it's okay, because <laughs> for the first time in Jay's for Day's history, you can actually see this side of my face, and not that side. And Is that your good side over there? I don't think I have a good side. But I, you, I, you can actually see a different par- part of me you've never seen before. I contemplated shaving completely half of my face. <laughs> that would have been so cool. And doing the whole, you know... Yeah, you know, two different people thing. That would have been awesome. I think we should if we if we got enough people to vote for it, we should get that done one podcast. If I could get enough people to vote for it, I would do anything they wanted with the shaving of my facial um, hair. Um, can we do that now? Can we? S- 
No, we have to get Mine followers. Mine would be funny to do, too, because I have, like, the whole thing going. So to shave one completely, like, baby smooth and to be like, welcome yeah. to Jays for Days <laughs> would just, like, <laughs> trip people out. It's really hot in here. Can one side be your regular voice and the other side be your radio <laughs> voice? Yeah, I would think that my radio voice would be my, my gruffer side. Yeah, it's more that's manly. What I was So from this one, I'd just be like, hi, welcome to Jays for Days. Podcasting, we're so glad to have you here. <laughs> blah, blah. We're just hey, so... You do that, and then I, I, you know, I do this, and then I go, so yeah, the other day. <laughs> hey, we should take this hair that y'all shave off your face and stick it on mine. And then she could turn around <laughs> and go, you know, I used to be a guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I could go to work like that. Oh, wait, you said that that didn't work. The didn't. I used to be a guy thing didn't work. Please enlighten us. Okay, I used it. The guy was, like, bugging me all night, and I was like, listen, I was trying to lay you down easy, but I got to let you know that I used to be a man. And he didn't buy it. But then, like, a couple of days later, he sent me flowers <laughs> to work. And um, so... Like he was a sexy man. Congratulations <laughs> on your sex... I mean, your <laughs> successful surgery. Bruce Jenner's my hero, too. <laughs> <laughs> but by then, I had bought... I probably shouldn't be saying this because now all the people. Anyway, um, I had bought a fake wedding ring and engagement ring, so it was like a set for seven dollars at Walmart. <laughs> and so the day that he sent the Life flowers, goes. those days when you're feeling down. <laughs> no, and you the day it. the Aww. day that he the day he sent flowers was the first day that I wore it to work, and he was so mad about the fact that I had gotten married overnight. <laughs> Uh, you know what? This this thing, I don't think that I'm going to touch the mic, which I thought was going to be hard for me, but it's not. So I'm willing to take one for the team if you guys want me to draw one more. So I'll have two stipulations. Okay, going. yeah. All right. Because Is I that just... the stipulations? Yeah. <laughs> it's the stips. It says stip. <laughs> the pin wasn't working on that cup, so I figured y'all would get the picture. Give them some uh, game show music. That's not possible. <laughs> don't say words that start with S. Do it. <laughs> Exactly, that's the whole point. Okay, well, I'm going to trike out. <laughs> okay, O, uh, <laughs> I can't A, things that tart <laughs> with us. You could talk in pig Latin. Cause that way but that I'm not good at figuring that out on the fly. I can do it. It's really easy. You might want to just say three words really Austin quick. Austin J... You know, you really could screw people like that. Just uh, do your one. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. So this will be good with helping me to not say because in radio we called it. Did, I think you just said it you three said times. half of say. You said say, and I think you said so after that. In radio, we have crutch words, which oh. <laughs> are things that you repeat too much, so you learn to not. Talk. You've already With done that it. Word, yeah. I was waiting for him to say. Oh, this punishment. Yep. Is the uh, is the water bucket of water? Yeah. Is it? It's just a cut. Well. Wear a wig. Sadly, we're not in our studio, Dang. so I don't think that we have a wig. So you'll you just have wear... to start next week with yes, the wig on. Yes, he has to wear a wig next week. Okay, I can deal with that as punishment. All right. So now, does somebody else draw? Yeah. yeah. Um, being, you know, I still have my. And mind there's only one going. stipulation left. Well, let's Jessie, see what it can... is. This is who's going to be up now. Ah, Jesse. So I'll well, go maybe that is next. You have Don't Touch Your Face. And see, look, I do this the entire podcast. <laughs> it would have been terrible to give me that one. So I'm next if right. she strikes out this cool. time. Okay. Let's All right. do this. Next question. Let's do another one. So I've got an idea for a segment we should do on the podcast. I would like to have a wheel that you spin with a bunch of different emotions, and I would like to have the funniest, corniest excerpts from uh, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, and you have to read them in the emotion you get, and it could be wacky, funny, sad, happy, yeah. angry, and then you have I me mean, because if you actually look up excerpts from this book, oh, they're hilariously crazy. Terrible. Let's so do it. I think that they might like that. So I think maybe next podcast we'll do that, but we'll make it in section. Ooh. A question that I like. Uh oh. Do you believe in aliens? Yes. No. Yes. There's no way that Earth is the only place in the entire universe. I mean, because the, to the universe, we're a speck. Right. Yeah. No kidding. Oh, I just touched my face. <laughs> yes. Strike one, Jesse. But until I see them, I won't believe in them. Well, I've seen a UFO. And some of those clouds last yesterday in Texas looked like one, but 
What? I'm pretty sure Jeremy Crazy Woman, Clouds, who we all know, is uh, an alien. Myself, no, Jeremy, you're <laughs> he not. He might a, be. Jeremy, I don't think you're an alien. <laughs> but him and I, we both saw one. He and I, proper English, I guess. We saw one. Um, we were a little bit intoxicated, but I don't think that that had anything to do with it because <laughs> it was it was past the point of like. Because I, it's like with ghosts. I've said I do believe in ghosts, but I think that like eighty percent of ghost stories are bull crap. I think yeah. that people. It's fun to humor them, but I think that a lot of them are just people don't realize that wood shrinks and, and swells and all of that. And I think a lot of UFO stories are bull crap, but I do yeah. think some of them are true. See, my thing on aliens is, real fast. yeah, maybe we're the dumber species in this whole alien thing. Maybe uh, they're yeah. the dumber ones. I don't know. I think we're but, the dumber ones for sure. Well, even then, I think they'd at least if come and can, try to destroy well, here's us. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. If aliens can reach us, then we are the dumber yeah. ones. Yeah. Because yep. whoever can reach the other first is probably the more superior I just would think that it would be a lot more definitive proof if there was actually other life out there than just, oh, yeah, we suspect. Stephen, well, no, they keep it hidden, though. Stephen Hawking had said that if it probably isn't a good idea for aliens to find us. Cause, oh, they'd uh, probably kill us what all. What is it called? SETI is constantly sending signals out to a, you know to space, hoping that. And actually, I think they said they got one back that they're like, you know, this will take them a while to decode. But, um but Stephen Hawking had said that it would actually not be a good idea for us to be found by aliens because look at what happens whenever advanced civilizations meet lesser advanced civilizations. Of course. However, that's just on Earth. That's humanity. For all we know, if they're that advanced in their everything, they may have advanced thinking, too, and not have the need to conquer. And, yeah. and aliens yeah. is one spot where, where I would be open to listen to stories. Yeah. I'm not as definitively against aliens being out there as I am ghosts. Maybe what we'll do is when we say paranormal, we'll mix that with aliens yeah. and ghosts because I could talk that's, I could create, we could create an entire another podcast just about paranormal stuff. Like, I love talking paranormal. I know you do. Love it. I love to scare <laughs> Jesse. Yeah. Yep. It, it freaks Jesse out. And I hope I hadn't touched the mic any. Really You're not like doing that good. anymore. Oh yeah, you are. I totally forgot you were doing yeah, that stuff. I'm keep it, I'm keep I going. completely forgot. It's hard to keep up with this stuff. Well, you saw, did you, what, like last week's podcast, I thought that we, we, we thought I had only said the S's. Oh, like, yeah. Th- yeah. Or, or not S's, the I's only three times. I had <laughs> said it like eight times at that point that we never. Oh, I up. acted like I was I smart. touched my face to get a, Strike two. Oh, I did think of something that right after I got off the phone last week, I realized something that in, you do that's embarrassing if everybody knew. I realized when I got off of there. I like way too much girly music that I would never actually <laughs> yes, play in do. front of people. But I'm right there with you. Joey and I were actually coming back when I was going to a community college up in yes. Keysville. We were coming back uh, down 360 with uh, Kelly Clarkson. I love Kelly Clarkson. Blasting. And like some manly men in this like jacked up truck are beside us. And they were just like... Burr, 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 burr. They come up and you could tell they were staring at us. And we're singing. And it, was, it was pretty embarrassing. You yeah. like Taylor Swift? I, I do. I have her CD in my car. We can jam out later. I, when don't, we get back. I don't hate Taylor Swift. I, well, I, I like Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift when people hated Taylor Swift. Though. I've always liked they Taylor still Swift. Hate her. I listen to Selena Gomez. I don't like her music, but I don't I have like anything against Demi her. Demi Lovato. I love her music. She's got a good voice. Carly but. Rae Jepsen. Yeah, that's a. She had a good song. Yeah. <laughs> Call me baby. Um. All right. Draw another question. Did you just touch your face? You I keep looking at me. Did. You keep looking at me making these faces. Because I'm, I'm like, hoping you're not catching it, but I didn't. Just I just bumped my mic with my knuckle. One for Justin. Your favorite dead musician or artist? Hmm, that's a good one. Uh, probably it, it. That would be tough because my I don't know. One of my favorite dead uh, artists, or he's not. It really isn't my favorite. One of my tops though would be Mitch Hedberg. He was oh, a, yes. He was so awesome. I didn't even think about that. I'm going to agree with you on that. As far I, yeah. I mean, he was, I like, his stuff makes me laugh no matter what. Yeah. No matter what. He and cracks me up. Cameron, um, had sh- the Cameron that was on this podcast, had shown me Mitch Hedberg like a while back. And when he showed it to me after about two hours of watching, because the first like 10 minute video I thought was the funniest thing I'd ever seen, I was like, I found my new favorite comedian. Cameron's like, yeah, he died. And I was just like, man. Um, I, I but, constantly find myself wishing Chris Farley was still living. Yes. Like, I see a whole lot of movies where I'm like, he'd have been so great in this. Yes. I would love to have Chris Farley back. You're going to knock it over, Jesse. Oh, uh, Justin saved it. That's what um, I do. I don't know. It's hard to choose between, like, Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin. Jimmy, I, I don't really like Janis Joplin at all, but I do really like Jimi Hendrix. 
Jan- or Johnny Cash. I don't know. I like. I do like Johnny, Johnny Cash, Cash a lot. It's hard to choose. It, ask, it depends on what day it is. The drummer for Avenged Sevenfold. Yes, the Rev would be. It'd be awesome to get him back. Um, it's a lot. I would say too, though, um, that as far as dead, dead, dead. I also, he's just recently dead. But Robin Williams would be one I would like to yeah. bring back because I really. It wasn't a. You know, everybody liked Robin Williams, and when he died, he was everybody's favorite. But he really was, like, probably in, like, my top ten. I won't say he was my favorite, but he was definitely in, like, my top ten favorite comedians slash comic actors. Not, and not that Heath Ledger comedic was actors. anything special to me. Just his role as the Joker, I'd have loved to have seen him be able to do that again. Take that, take, the, yeah, keep that going, or see yeah. what he could have done after that. Yeah, that was, that was amazing, but... That would be a whole other segment. You could have a whole thing on which dead people would you bring back. Yeah. And, like, what would you ask them? Good question, though. I don't know. Mitch Hedberg, I guess. Oh, I touched on that's two. That's two. Would you just punch yours? Mm. <laughs> it's uh, like, I guess I just hit it with my finger. But I thought it was you for a second. I, got I think excited. Mitch Hedberg or Robin Williams would be mine, even though neither one of them are musicians. Okay. <laughs> My phone was vibrating. I had to jump to respond. Are we ready to draw another question? Yeah, draw another oh, question. Yeah. Somebody else to Justelino. Draw. And just so That's you know, my gangster name. I threw away the ghost question. We just talked about aliens and ghosts a little bit. Man. Yeah. And we just said we'd get into all that later. Okay, I'm going to add my own question to this one, though. But I got, it's, it's, If you were a cartoon character, which outfit would you wear? But first of all, let's just say, if you could be a cartoon character to start off with, which one would you be? But you have to be your own cartoon character, but are you talking about Like any cartoon character, cartoon? it don't matter what... I would be Roxanne from that the Goofy movie. I would like, I would, the very first one? The one yeah, the yep. one where Max is a is teenager. That nah, you're good. I feel like the touch. I'd be Phineas or Ferb. Those kids do everything. I don't know. I'd want to be like uh, Otto from Rocket Power. <laughs> um, either him or. Um, <gasps> Ooh, I want to be. I want to be um, Finn from Adventure Time. I want to be Randy from South Park. <laughs> That's who I want to be. Is Randy Marsh? <laughs> that is who I would want to be. And the outfit I would wear if I were a cartoon character would probably be the same thing I wear in life, like jeans and t-shirt. Yeah. That, I would wear anything that would allow me to, with one tug, pull off and reveal a superhero outfit. That's what I. That's that's a very good answer. I would. That love is to have a good answer. All right, draw another question. We got a little time. Go ahead, Jesse. Jersey. Yes, sir. What is your favorite color? Hmm. Blue. That's tough. I'm Rainbow. not good at answering questions because I'm so indecisive. I like green, but. I really like black and gray. Like that's what I wear the most of is black and gray. So it, well, I'm talking just color in general. I like blue, um, dark blue. I don't know. That's a, that. That's really is tough. this a common thing for radio stations to have carpet, carpet walls? walls? Yes, stops acoustics. the yeah the acoustics for it. My yeah. favorite color is rainbow. And I'm Jesse, that's not a, you can't buy, that's not you a cannot color. buy that, that is, in a spray paint can. That is a that's a good way to decide if it's a color or not. That is a that, a rainbow is made up uh, it's a it, of uh, different colors. Okay, well tell me this, okay? Okay. If you had a car that was red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. That car would be red, orange. No, it would be the if you, colors. If, if somebody of the asked you what color that car was, you would say rainbow. I'd say it has a rainbow paint scheme. I would, or say, I would say it it's was a bunch of different colors. The colors of the rainbow. Well, no, I don't that's, have... that's that's cheap. That's like going. Uh, what's your favorite cereal? All of them. The <laughs> breakfast the kind. Has, like well, all. I guess basically it's what I'm getting at. I don't have a favorite color. I just love them all. Hmm. She paints, so she has to love them all. I think mine would be blue or green. What is your least favorite color? Mine is orange, and Deanne Martin's going to kill me because that's her favorite color. It's not my favorite, but I like orange. I do, too. That's a good one. What is my least favorite would color? Would the sports fan in me have to say Carolina blue? I really don't like yellow. I mean, I have a shirt or two that's got yellow in it. That I don't I like, mind yellow. I just generally think it's a bland, dull color. Either we really like yellow and red together. I don't yellow like, is like, like the McDonald's. brightest color of them all, hate, other than neon colors. And I, it might be the brightest, but that don't mean I like. You it. You just said it was bland. It's yeah, it's bland. It's corn like, is yellow, and corn is delicious. Corn is especially not my if you put some mayonnaise on there and some chili pepper. 
That's the weirdest like way mayonnaise. I've ever heard I've never, of eating yeah. corn. You got to try it. I'll pass. All right. All right. Another, oh, question. another question. I, I know that I did just touch my mic. So oh, you know I mean? he's got a consequence coming. <laughs> Gives me a consequence. My, my headphones are longer than I anticipated, so I keep bumping it. I probably have done that more ah. than... Uh... All right, let me see. <laughs> oh, my God. Sing with no music. <laughs> uh, uh, so I'm gonna We need, don't have another set of headphones. I need though, do a it. set of... Man, I've got two punishments next week. Yeah. I'll tell you what. This is how I can I can pay them back. At the beginning of next podcast, I'll start off wearing a wig, and it'll start with me okay. singing along to something. We get to pick the song. Oh, my gosh. Maybe we should like, make a list of break songs. Break your neck. Whichever one that you like out. the best. Or the yeah, the one you know the more words to. No, the less he knows, the funnier. Yeah, because you can right. hold up the when words. He, when he can't hear himself singing, he's going to just start making really weird noises. <gasps> My monster just splashed me in the eyeballs. <laughs> it's I not nice of it. And you're on your face. Do you? Do we have... <laughs> oh, yes! Draw a punishment. I hope yours is a cup of water or something that you can do right now. I was hoping that it wasn't going to You got the cup be. of consequences. Uh. Do the Macarena. Somebody gonna sing it for me? That's a different way out of it. I don't I'll remember it. Do it. Too. I would like to see you guys do it. Oh, well, we didn't touch our face three times. Nope. I Just bet you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know I touched my face three I, times. I have so. <laughs> And do I need to. Pull one since it's going to be like two minutes left. Yeah, let's just pull another um, question. No, no, let's just go with another question unless you have, right. unless you want to. You'll be the first one to do That's stipulations fine. next week. When, next time I actually show up. Yeah. All right. All right. So, do you dream in color? Oh. Do I dream in color? Yes, I do. Me Very too. vivid color too. Yeah. It's so like the brightest colors. I could have in a whole other podcast on dreams. Maybe that's what we should do. Each podcast, because like I said, you're. Listener, viewers, whatever, y'all are part of the planning stages because these are all just testing. We've got to do this question. I today. wonder if we should do that for each <laughs> podcast because there's a never ending list of things. Is every time you think of a subject, like have that be the subject of the podcast, like dreams, paranormal, then yep. you get to kind of cover all ranges of the spectrum. Yeah, we could um, actually have suggestions on what our main topic should be. Yeah. Well, if it's dreams, then I got that covered. So we can either format and have like recurring segments and stuff, or we could do uh, themed. All right, what's your next? This, we got a. This is a good one to end on, and you have to answer it. Okay. Who is your celebrity guy crush? Hmm. Russell Brand. God, he's such a. He's so I just hot. don't like him. He's a obnoxious. I think hell. he's. I think he's hilarious. Like he, I love watching him debate people because he's so witty. But he is a douchebag. At times. He really is. Who's your celebrity guy crush? It's got to be Ryan Reynolds. That's like the one guy when I see him on screen, I'm going, Brandy, look, like that dude looks <laughs> awesome. Like I wouldn't even get mad if he walked by the street and you smacked him on the ass. Hmm. I'd be like, how'd it feel? Oh yeah. Uh, Can I have another one? Another what? Celebrity guy. Well, let crush. him pick one so you don't take his. Well, I know. Well, mm-hmm. yeah, we might have the same. I obviously one. hadn't put much thought into this <laughs> before, so let me think. Um, I don't know, and I guess it's even weirder because he's gay. But Neil Patrick Harris is awesome. <laughs> yes. Whenever I see him in something, I want to see it. Uh, my girlfriend and I this past. I like Sunday how he threw night, that in we, there. What? I said something about my wife immediately after, and you mentioned oh, your yeah. girlfriend. We were watching this thing uh, that comes on Netflix. It's brain teasers, like optic illusions yeah. and stuff. And Neil Patrick Harris uh, narrated the first one. And I didn't even realize it was him until it said, like, uh, narrated voice work by Neil Patrick Harris. And I instantly liked it more before it even started. <laughs> I told my girlfriend, I was like, ooh. So I don't know. I mean, I really think Neil Patrick Harris would probably have to be it, but. Just solely as I enjoy watching him. I'm trying to think. I know there's somebody else. I'd like Schmidt. to find a straight one. Schmidt, who is going to be on American Horror Story now. I'm so excited. That's going to be awesome. Yes. Completely don't watch it. You completely should. You need to. Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead. Everybody's crushing on Daryl. Uh-uh. I'm on the Rick train. <laughs> Which one is that? The main character. Just I don't watch putting it. that in context with Train I know what they made look it disturbing. Like, um, I, man, that's stumping me because I, I say in Neil Patrick Harris, but I feel like there's somebody else. He's out so there. perplexed about which guy he would. Right. So obviously, you yeah. see, this is something that I have not spent much time thinking about. And the next show, he's gonna be like, "So I was thinking at home the other night." He's gonna have a whole list. And I would totally do Mark Wahlberg. 
I'm very glad that you two both had your celebrity crushes lined up because I really don't know. I mean, I didn't. I just picked. Okay, so that's week number nine in the bag. Next week will be ten. We're gonna have JP on next week. Yeah, JP will be returning, and I'll be on the phone. And Joey will be on the phone line. So that'll be good. We'll have four. We'll have a we'll have a four person lineup. Joey stipulations. We'll make sure we have a lot of vocal stipulations. It's not because I'm not dedicated. I just have another job. And like I said, we really are. Any feedback you get is not going to hurt our feelings. If there's did, somewhere you'd rather see this go, we like, did really bad, including the camera in our show. Okay, now I think we just gave the camera way more attention than okay. it deserved. But okay, so like I said, please let us know if you want to see like themed podcasts. Uh, if you want to see. Like, if you wanted to organize, like, a morning show on a radio station where you have segmented things, let us know. The more we know, the better this podcast can be. Without feedback, we don't know where we're going. So if you're going to tell us we suck, though, tell us why we suck. Yeah. That way we can take it and run Say away. Say the fat guy in the corner is just too fat. <laughs> I don't care. What fat guy in the corner? Say Justin's hair is too awesome to contain. Stop wearing hats, you know. I mean, whatever your bother is, you let us know. We'll figure out something special for next week's podcast. So, yeah. Until then, I'm Justin. I'm Jesse. I'm Joey. And we'll be back next week. Peace out, everybody. You'll bye, survive bye. without us. Bye. Apparently, the Macarena has uh, Native American origins. It's like a Samoan dance. Oh. <laughs>